Okay. Yeah. Okay. Midori rum pun warned. Does someone have to type that out somewhere? Okay. They'll probably good. get you at later. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, hi. Good morning. I know you guys are working hard and listening to a lot of us talk a lot. We have a lot to say. Thank you. Um, I'd like to share a quote with you that I heard like once a long time ago. Um, I'm paraphrasing, of course, but it goes a little something like this. What could be a more dangerous way of making decisions than by putting those decisions in the hands of those who, know, who pay no price for being wrong? I'm here to ask you guys, what if you're wrong? What if we're all wrong? Like, what if this is not the best solution? Um, what, what consequences would you guys suffer if you're wrong? Probably not. I mean, you physically don't have to, I mean, would you physically wake them up, take them from the sidewalk, put them in handcuffs, put them, like, put them, like, take their mug shot, take their, you know, their fingerprint, put them in jail and say, this is the best thing we thought of. Good luck. I just want to ask you guys if you really, really think this is the best shot you guys have at approaching this problem in the right way, because I don't think it really, really is. I was homeless myself, you know, I've been here like my whole life. Um, and like, I used to live under a bridge at Nimitz for a while and like, it was kind of like dog eat dog, but we were all like really, we shared because we really didn't have that much. <laughs> so like, I noticed that people who don't have a lot are the most giving, but people that have more, have more to take away. How would you guys tell a child like if you see, if you explain to a, a homeless guy like on the side of the road, we tell them, hey, that guy's a criminal, that's wrong, that he's sleeping on the sidewalk. How do you, would you explain that to them? Would you tell them that he's wrong for sleeping there? Would you tell your kids or your family that this is tough love and we're showing them that they have better ways to live their lives because we think we know better? Do we know better? Do we really know better than that? <laughs> um, would you arrest a tourist sleeping on the sidewalk? Would you arrest him if he was like lying down, beat by the sun? You probably wouldn't arrest him because he probably is there like contributing to the economically healthy neighborhoods <laughs> in Waikiki. Um, and with respect to homelessness, like I feel like when we dominate or even question the right for one to live as one would have a right to, um, I think that's not only a question about the right to public space, but also a question about democracy. Because they don't get to have a say to what happens to them. We are, we are all here like trying to put decisions onto them that they don't even, not, have you met a homeless guy here besides you know, other people, like very few of them? Have you met like hundreds that have piled into this room? Have they even, do they even know that we're having this hearing about them right now? Probably not. <laughs> So I, I really, really urge you guys to stop these bills or try a little bit harder. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you guys haven't tried hard at all. I'm just saying that there's got to be a better way. How, what have other states been doing or other nations been doing to help with this problem? I heard once in Thailand, like, I'm half Thai. Um, my, like, I'll finish up in like a few minutes, sorry. Um, when they had like a really, really big homeless drug problem um, with like opiates, they told like the king and the queen came down to like all a bunch of provinces and asked the community what they should do. Kind of like what you guys are doing right now in a way. But um, what they did was they told the, the drug people like, hey, you guys like this stuff so much, huh? Like, you wanna grow some? Grow it way over there on that hill, but bring down the flowering parts to bring down to the market twice a week. And, and that's how they saw the drug problem because eventually didn't want it anymore because it was like kind of okay. They weren't seen as like criminals or people who were bad people, but people who are kind of in a different stage in their life. In other countries, like when a person gets jailed, they're forced to go to school or to go into a trade. But here, like they're just forced to get in jail and then they get tossed back out. Like if you get tossed back out, like you're just out there in the middle of the world and and then you have to think to yourself, this is the best my civilization, my civilization, my society has got for me. And I think the best way you can judge a society is by the way they, that they treat the, the lowest people. So thank you and please, please, please reconsider these bills and the language and the authority that you have put onto them.
Thank you. Thank you for your testimony.